Hi, this is Dow Too Fast here. In this video, I will show you this multifunction OBD2 diagnostic scan tool. It also has diagnostic functions for ABS and SRS systems. This one I have here is made by a company called Launch Technology, and the model number is C Reader 6011. With this tool, you can quickly and easily troubleshoot today's cars, trucks, or SUV for both import and domestic vehicles. This is great for all the weekend do-it-yourselfers or even professional technicians. It works on all 1996 and newer OBD2 and CAN vehicles. The unit does not require any batteries to operate. It uses the power on the OBD port in your vehicle. Let's have a quick look around the box. Here's a list of all the features. Read and clear DTCs read live data, identify VIN information, view freeze frame data, turn off malfunction indicator light, displays monitor and IM readiness status, O2 sensor and EVAP system tests, onboard monitor test, read pending full code, DTC code lookup, save and review data, support ABS, support SRS, view and graph multiple pits of live data in full color, multi-language support, for English, Spanish, and French. At the bottom, it shows you the 46 different car manufacturers it covers. So let me open this up and I'll show you what the unit looks like. Here we have the carrying case. Inside you'll find the quick start guide along with the USB cable. The quick start guide is in English, French, and Spanish. Here is the scan tool. Has a nice orange protective case all around it. This is the DB15 connector, where you connect the OBD2 cable to it. At the bottom, we have a flap you can open up. There is a mini USB connector, and also a micro SD memory card. You'll be using this card to update the software of the unit. This is a 4 gig card. Looking at the front of the unit, we have a 4 inch TFT display with a resolution of 320 by 480 DPI. Here we have four quick access buttons. This first one here, DTC, this is to read the diagnostic trouble code. Next one over, this is the ER button or erase button. This is to clear the diagnostic trouble codes. This is a quick access to IM readiness function. The last button over here with the question mark, this is the help button. It provides detailed description or tips for diagnostics. At the bottom, this is the escape button to return to the previous screen. This is the OK button to confirm the current operation. This selection button will allow you to navigate up and down to select different items or left and right to return or advance to the previous or next page. According to the quick start guide, you can go to the dbscar.com website and download the latest software for the scan tool. So here I've placed all the items in the carrying case. There's a scan tool, quick start guide, the OBD2 cable, and the USB cable. To connect the scan tool to your vehicle, you first need to locate the OBD2 connector. Typically it's found on the driver's side underneath the dash. Some of them are behind a plastic cover. On this Honda, it's located underneath here. That white connector is your OBD2 connector, or sometimes it's referred to as a DLC connector. 
Here I have the scan tools data cable. Plug it into the DLC port. Let's start the car up. So here's a main screen. You can use the arrow buttons to navigate to different icons on the screen. Now before we do that, we can access any of the quick access buttons right here. So if we press the DTC to check for trouble codes, it'll take you straight to scanning for trouble codes. The vehicle has no fault codes. Now of course if you have a trouble code, you can use the erase button right here to erase a code. Now I'm going to press the IM button right here. This is the inspection and maintenance. The IM readiness is a series of tests the vehicle will perform on the emission control system. After the test is complete, it will give you a status of whether it's okay or not available. We go back. Let's first go to settings. Here you can change the language. English, French, Spanish, German, or Russian. Unit of measure, metric, imperial. Beeper is turned on. Record mode is off. Now if you go to help, on this screen, you have the DLC location information. Select enter. This will tell you where the data link connector should be located in your vehicle. DTC library. You can enter the specific diagnostic trouble code right here. And it'll look up the information for you to tell you what that trouble code means. Abbreviation. Here you can scroll down to the specific abbreviated name, press OK and it'll give you a definition of that name. Go back. Tool information, here it gives you the boot version, display program version, diagnostic program version, diagnostic library version, serial number, and register code. Let's go back. About OBD, here are some items you can read up on. What is OBD? Explain to you what it is. OBD2 modes, vehicle coverage, let's go back, let's go to diagnose, press OK, OBD2, EOBD, OK, here it tells you the mil status or the check engine light is off. DTCs in this ECU is zero. There are no trouble codes. Data stream supported, 48. Ignition, spark. Protocol type is CAN. Press OK. The next item here is erase codes. Or you can check the IM readiness. There's data stream. Press OK. View all items. Here's a list of live data points it's receiving from the vehicle. You can scroll down to see other parameters. Let's go back. You can view graphic items. I'm going to scroll down to the engine coolant temperature. Select OK, and it'll check off that item. Now press the Escape button. That's a button on the left side here to begin graphing. So here you can see the real-time graph being displayed. Go back. 
There's a freeze frame. And some of these items are not supported by your vehicle, so keep that in mind. As you can see, the vehicle does not have freeze frame data. Okay. O2 sensor test. Onboard monitoring. Misfire cylinder one. Status is pass. Vehicle information. This will tell you the VIN number of the vehicle and the calibration identification number. Go back. Back. Are you sure you want to exit the diagnostic function? Okay. Let's go to scan. Okay. Here we have a list of manufacturers that this scan tool supports. Diagnose. So it's checking the ABS and SRS on this vehicle. You can read the specific trouble code for the ABS. You can also check the SRS. Now we're back to the main screen. So as you can see, this is a great tool for all the do-it-yourselfers out there. It's packed with features and it can help you save a lot of money if you want to diagnose a problem yourself at home. If you want to check out this product, I will put the Amazon link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. And don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.